Hello, this is Ray Franklin and I want to tell you a story about a housewife called Eve. Now Eve was married to her husband, Adam. Hmm. The first two people in the Bible we read about is called Adam and Eve, but I'm sure it's nothing connected. Anyway, Eve and Adam, or Adam and Eve, they lived in a garden apartment just the other side of town. And while Adam was at work, Eve would quickly do the housework, then go out with her friends. They would go down to the local pub and have a few, well actually they had a few more. And while they're doing the, the old drinking part, you know, they'd also do the smoking part. And as the conversation develops, the excitement through the cigarettes and the drink, tongues get loosened. And she would start swearing and blaspheming. Something that we read in the Ten Commandments that you shouldn't do. Because it says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. And she was. But after a time, she was finding she wasn't happy with the lifestyle she was living. And she wanted to make a change. Now, let me show you a picture of Eve. Here she is, and she wants to get rid of her sin. Now, what was her sin? It was the sin from the demon of smoke, from the demon of drink, and from the demon of blasphemy. She wanted to be free, and who wouldn't want to be free of that? So she decided that what she was going to do, she was going to face her demons, all three of them. And with your help, she may actually conquer, overcome and be free. So let's, first of all, let's just turn around another one. Okay, now we're going to give them a mix. Because that's exactly what her life was, all mixed up. And she didn't really know what to do. So, where do you think Eve is? Is she here or here? She could be this one or she could be that one. Which one do you think she is? You think she's this one? You sure? Yes? Well, let's have a look, shall we? No, she's not there. That's one of her demons. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put this demon away in here. All right. So let's just put that demon in there. Now, I'm going to turn around another demon because we don't want to see the demons. Okay, remember, Eve is here with her burdens. And once again, we give them a little bit of a mix. Okay, now, where is Eve with all her burdens that we want her to be free of? Is she here or is she here? You think she's here? You sure? No. That's not her. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's get rid of this demon. Alright. So we can just concentrate on these two cards. Right. Give them a bit of a mix. Yes. Now which one do you think Eve is on? This or this? It's on this one. Remember, I can see where she is. I'm not going to help you out, but I know where she is. Okay, where do you think she is? You think that she's on this one? You sure? You were deceived. So now we know here is Eve with all her sin. 
we've got to get rid of those sins if she wants to live a happy, contented life, a godly life. So what we're going to do, we're just going to give this last one a mix up. And if you want, I'll even turn it around. Oh, the other way. Okay. Now, the question is, where is Eve on the other side? Are you sure? No. Because we managed somehow to get rid of all of Eve's sins. In fact, I think we got rid of Eve as well. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look. Let's see how we did. Now remember, on the back of the cards, it says, no fishing. Because that is what we mustn't do, fish. If we give our sins to God, there's no point in saying, God, take my sins. But, oh, can I hold on to that one? Oh, can I hold on to that one? No, 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 no. No fishing. It's all or nothing. And do you know, before I turn this card around, that in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13, it says, No temptation, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. Isn't it good? But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. And do you know how he did that? Remember, you wanted to see the other side. How did he do that? Quite simply, it took one cross and three nails to equal your forgiven. Jesus died on the cross so that you, if you want to hand your sins to him, can be forgiven. And that is what Eve wanted to do. And hopefully that is what you want to do. Be free of your sins. To live a God-like life. And be free to live with him in eternity. This is Ray Franklin, hoping to see you another time. Goodbye.